Hello beer lovers and welcome back to the Belgian Beer Maniac. In this episode I'll be talking about yet another one of my favorite beers. So stay in your seat and let's get to it. So today I want to introduce you Avrebole, which is um, probably in my top 10 of favorite beers among beers like Quack, Triple Carmelit, Castile Triple, and Golden Draco Triple and a couple of others. So uh, here is the bottle and as you can see the design is very simplistic yet beautiful in its own way with the white and gray tints on the top label you can see the date uh, 1134 which is the date that the abbey of Avabul was founded and below the name you can see the alcohol percentage which is 7.5 percent ABV and on the back side, you can find some uh, brewery information along with the um, sigil of the recognized Belgium Abbey beers uh, and also the alcohol percentage again. So that's that. And of course, I also have the matching beer glass, uh, like I do of almost all my favorite beers. Uh, so here it is. If it zooms correctly. Um, the beer glass looks very elegant in my opinion. Um, it has the same shape more or less like a wine glass. The only difference is the golden edge on the top of the glass, which you can see right here, which gives the glass a sort of divine look, if you ask me. And on the front of the glass you can see the logo, the name and Abbey. So uh, that's the introduction. So uh, time for beer tasting. and. Uh, I haven't uh, drank Aarbolde in I think about two weeks or something, which is pretty long for me because mostly I drink my favorite beers um, every every um, couple of days. But uh, yeah, I kind of stopped drinking this one because I knew I would review it. So uh, yeah, just to give it more um, how you say character while tasting it. So all right, let's uh, head in with the pour. Cheers guys! Just so beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. As you can see it is a very bright golden um, blonde beer with a very nice thick white creamy uh, top and a very, very smooth uh, carbonation, as you can see. Not fermentation. Um, a good YouTube friend, he uh, pointed it out um, that I indeed, I uh, missed, said it in one of my previous videos, I said fermentation, but it's indeed carbonation. So uh, yeah, a little uh, <coughs> adjustment to that. So uh, all right, let's uh, head in with the smell. It is so sweet, like, it almost, uh, you know, these uh, citrus candies that you that you can buy in a shop, like, it directly reminds you of that. It's very hoppy as well, um, really hoppy character. Grainy, um, because yeah, Avabold is also um, brewed on, on the different uh, grains, which it says as well on the on the bottle I see now, but uh, you can really smell the, the, the grainy touch to the beer. Very malty and uh, yeah, they used a very, uh, very special kind of yeast as well. So uh, which also gives, of course, more flavor to the beer. Uh, not not really smelling, but uh, flavors, yes. But uh, oh, that taste is just, well, it smells like citrus in there, but I'm actually not quite sure if, if they used any dried fruit in it. I mean, they used a lot of hops and they used dry hopping and so on. But when you smell it, it's just so delightful. It, it, it almost smells like, yeah, like this kind of citrus fruit. So, uh, all right, I set in with the, with the first sip. Cheers, guys. Oh. 
uh, that just brings a smile on my face. Like, like the moment you, uh, you taste this beer, it's just such full enjoyment. Like it's pure happiness. Like it's, it almost makes you feel like, like, you know, um, like when you were a kid and you walked into that candy store, like this beer is just one, in my opinion, also one of the best, uh, Abbey beers out there. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's one of my favorites, but, uh, yeah, as for the taste, it's very full. Mm. Very fresh, good portion of sweetness, very tender bitterness in, in the, uh, in the, in the, in the, uh, aftertaste. Um, the grains definitely come back. Uh, there's also a little bit of malt in there present. Um, not as strong like with ember beers and so on, but, uh, but you can still taste it. Um, and then, yeah, the, the citrus stuff, what, what I was talking about in the, in the smell, it's, uh, I, I, I think it also comes from, from the, uh, spices, you know, because it, it is a little bit of uh, spiciness. So let's have another sip. Mm. It's also very smooth, very light beer. I mean, it's, it's only seven and a half, but, uh, you, you sometimes have beers that are only seven or eight and they are, they are like very, very, powerful and uh yeah they, f they feel very heavy but uh, this beer feels so light so smooth so fresh just very perfectly balanced um and there's also a very uh dry dry um i say dry finish in the aftertaste so that's also pretty pleasant like i told you in other videos um that's something that i really like so uh let's head in with one more mm. The spices it's uh it just tingles on your tongue <laughs> if that makes any sense in beer tasting but i but i think the people who drink a lot of beers they they, they will understand uh, what i try to say with it but uh yeah the spices are definitely present and it's actually so pleasant um it really um, gives you that citrus flavor but without i think um having any secrets in the beer. Uh, I haven't checked the label that that quickly, uh, but yeah, it's a very, very full beer. Now, as for the beer type, uh, one could say that Avgebolde definitely is a triple beer um, due to uh, the triple ingredients of everything, which also give this beer such a fullness, such, you know, flavors and still being so balanced. Uh, that's what all triple beers do, by the way. So, uh, Avenbolde is definitely a triple beer in my opinion, yet um, being recognized as a Belgium Abbey beer, um, I will classify it under the Abbey beers because yeah, I just love Abbey beers in general and I think that is a let me say category uh, separated from the normal triples in my opinion. So uh, yeah, Avenbolde is definitely just a recognized Abbey beer. So uh, cheers to that. As for the history of the Abbey, uh, it's a little bit too complicated to memorize everything, knowing that the Abbey was founded in 1134, so the history is very long and very detailed. But those who are interested to read the full story of this magnificent Abbey, uh, I would advise to uh, check the websites which I've included in the description below this video, which have a very detailed uh, history pages and so on so for the people who are interested go check that out as for the short version of the history the abbey of avonbolo was found in 1134 yet in the years to follow the abbey had um, gone through many trials such as looting fires and also the plague yet uh, at the end of the 18th century <coughs> the abbey was even sold and demolished due to the french revolution uh, which forbid and closed all abbeys and monasteries all over Belgium. Yet in 1803, the abbey was being bought back by one of the monks and further down in the 19th century, it went back uphill for the abbey. Monastic life is resumed and the abbey became the hub of many activities such as missionary work and a publishing house and so on. Along the way, in the 20th century, many schools were founded 
and operated by the monks of Averbol. And to close my short version of the history, in 2013, the Abbey of Averbol, in cooperation with Brewery Heug, finally launched their very own Abbey beer, which I am drinking right now. So, uh, yeah, this is a very short version which I've tried to make as compact as possible because, like I told you, this history is like page after page after page because, yeah, the Abbey almost exists for a thousand years, which is very long and I think it's also probably one of the oldest established abbeys that uh, are still operating today. Uh, you, you must know that somewhere along the way, I think around the 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, uh, century, the abbey was completely abandoned due to wars and so on. But uh, yeah, even that taken out, it is still one of the longest um, established monasteries or abbeys in our country. So it is really worth a while to check out the full history lesson on the many websites that I've included below. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> if you uh, want more information, like I said, Go to the go to the website. There's a lot to read about the Abbey of Avonbolde, also about the brewery Huig, in which they work together with, and uh, yeah, also they have delicious beer, delicious cheese, and um, you can visit them uh, as well for a appointment to their abbey, or you can just visit their terrace. Um, every day, I think between 10 a.m. and 18 p.m. And there you can uh, taste even other Avonbolde beers, which they only sell at the Abbey uh, in combination with some delicious Avonbolde cheese. So try to check that out as well if you get the opportunity. Now, as for the awards, I need to have a little sip because my throat is a bit dry. So for the awards, I can say that Avonbolde has already won 13 medals with this terrific beer between 2015 and 2021. Uh, yet the list of the awards is pretty long, so I've also included a link in the description below this video to that specific section on the website of the brewery, where you can simply click on Avonbolde as your beer, and then you can see all the uh, medals. Yet to give you the latest ones, uh, in 2021, Avonbolde has won the gold medal at the uh, International nee, Concours International de Lyon, which is in France. And then in 2020, they have won a bronze medal at the International Beer Awards, I think. Then a silver medal at the European Beer Awards, and then again a gold medal at the uh, Concours International de Lyon in France. So. Those are the four latest ones, yet they have won a lot of awards um, every year, at least one, sometimes a, sometimes even a couple between 2015 and 2021, so uh, check that out. As for my personal rating, uh, it's pretty obvious in my head already what I'm going to rate this beer, I think, but uh, yeah, like I said, it's just one of my favorite beers and if you ever get the chance to try this one, Please do so because it's just so delightful. So I'm going to take one more sip to remember all the flavors and why I like, excuse me, why I like it so much. So spicy, so full, hoppy, fruity, sweet full tender bitterness and very dry aftertaste. Like this beer simply has everything a real beer lover wants in this beer, in my opinion. Also, it is not that strong, it's seven and a half, so you can drink a couple of these before you get really drunk. So it is just a masterpiece in my opinion. As for my personal rating, I will give this beer a solid nine and a half to 10. Um, not a 10 to 10, because yeah, 10 to 10 for me, it, is, it has to be really mind blowing and this beer is really mind blowing yet there's only one beer that uh, up to date for me is really mind blowing and that is Quack because yeah, in Quack you just have everything as well. This beer is almost, almost, but just not 
a 10 to 10. So, uh, but yeah, a very solid nine and a half to 10, which is second place in my list, I think. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section what you think about Avonbol and let me know if, if you have visited the Abbey yourself and what you think of the whole monastery there. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, if you want to see me do more Belgian beer reviews. And uh, let me know in the comment section which beer, which Belgian beer I should review in my next video. And uh, I will try to make it happen because uh, yeah, some of you guys sent me uh, private messages as well. But uh, yeah, just let me know in the comment sections to get the algorithm up a little bit. And uh, yeah, I will surely get back to each and one of you. And uh, cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.